Have you ever looked at the View 11.0 Sysout Selection Panel and wondered, what happened to the screen? You may be asking, why do I have to click through each asterisk to get to the Select field? The cursor placement can be modified using the SAR OMSUX exit shown here. If the View Administrator installs the SAR OMSUX exit from View 11.0 PTF QO 88264, it will place the cursor in the first select field of any sysout selection panel. SAR OMSUX will work with the All, SAR, SARO, EXP, and EXPO modes, both the short and long field panels, with all languages, and when scrolling left or right. EBC 11.0 PTF QO 86848 must also be applied in order for this exit to function correctly. Use the JCL in SAMP JCL member HAB0 OMSX to link the new version of the exit in SMP as a user mod. After the exit has been assembled and linked in, the cursor will go immediately to the first select field on the screen. Now that the cursor is on the select field, the next question to address is, what purpose do all the asterisks on the panel serve? The asterisk indicates that the data in that column can be filtered. Each column is filtered by the value that replaces the asterisk. Let's explore some ways that the filtering can aid your view sysout navigation. With CA view releases prior to 11.0, you can limit the selection list to a specific date, a date range, or all dates, a specific generation, a relative generation, or all generations, a specific ID, a wildcarded ID, or all IDs. Well, what if you wanted to list specific sysout IDs that have a location of perm? You can do that by tabbing over to the location column and typing in perm. Now, what if you wanted to list all of those I asterisk sysouts that have 72 lines? To reset the screen, set the I asterisk value, blank out the perm value, then type 72 in the lines column, and hit enter. As you can see, there is no need to return to the primary selection panel. If you want to reset the screen to show just the I asterisk sysouts, blank out the 72, and hit enter. Again, there is no need to return to the primary selection screen. The filtering can be done on the other screens as well by scrolling to the left or right using PF10 or PF11, respectively. One of the most important fields for filtering on this panel is the Xcode field. You can put JCLERR in the Xcode filter field, and the sysouts with that exception code will be displayed. Now suppose you know the job name, but have forgotten the sysout ID. Without the filtering feature, you would have to page through the selection list until you find the report, which can be very time consuming. Now with filtering, just type in the job name and hit enter. Presto there is the report. You can blank out the job name value to return to the I asterisk sysout presentation. If you use PF11 and scroll to the right, the screen that shows the columns that indicate whether a report is on disk, tape, an optical device, or is indexed, the DTOI columns, 
will be displayed. You can use a filter to show only indexed reports by typing a Y under the I and hitting Enter. We hope this presentation was helpful in showing the benefit of the use of the column filters in the VIEW 11.0 sysout selection list.